Today we're going to make this easy and quick polar bear craft and it's perfect because it doesn't need very many supplies. You are going to need a black marker crown or pencil crown, a pencil, some scissors, some glue, white paper, and I have a little bit of blue paper but grab whatever color you need. If you had a white toilet paper roll you could also use that and you wouldn't even need this white paper right now. But with your white piece of paper you want to make sure that it rolls over to create a cylinder. You can see I have a smaller piece of paper, so if yours is too big, just cut your page in half and then just check. So here I'm rolling it, see if you can see from the top, and I have a little bit of extra. So when I rolled it, I had a little bit of extra sticking out. I'm going to cut that off and we're going to use that piece of paper. So once you roll it, you do want a little bit of extra white paper, and then you are going to glue that. So grab your glue, and we want to make sure that that cylinder it's secured. So like I said, if you have a toilet paper tube that's white, this will work, or you could even cover a toilet paper tube in white. So just roll your piece of paper over, sticking your fingers kind of inside so that you can glue that together. And when you are done, you will have a cylinder. So here is your cylinder. I'm actually gonna trim mine. So I'm gonna trim one side and trim the other side. That actually helps keep the edges nice and straight, and it just makes my polar bear a little bit smaller. You decide. You can keep your polar bear taller and larger. That's okay. You can trim it so he's a little bit or she's a little bit smaller. You're going to decide. I'm going to trim both ends and this is the size I would like for my polar bear. Once you've decided on your size for your polar bear, we're ready to give your polar bear some features. I'm going to take that extra piece of white paper. If you don't have the extra piece, just grab a new piece, no problem. And I want to make the head for my polar bear. So I'm grabbing a pencil. Now the cylinder you just created, you could actually put it right on your page and trace around it. That would give you a nice circle for your head, or you can just draw a circle. You decide. You could also use a tracer if you have one, but you need a circle. So This is going to be the head of your polar bear. You just draw your circle and then you're going to cut that out. Now the size of the head is dependent on what size you want for your polar bear head. You could have one that's smaller, that's bigger. Okay, now I'm going to cut that out. That's perfect. We need that extra little white to create our paws. So I'm going to fold it once. I'm going to fold it again. And I'm actually going to fold one more time. So if you can fold one more time, great. If you can't, that's okay. Just fold twice. And I'm going to take my pencil and draw a small circle. So this small circle is going to be for my ears and my paws. Now, I'm going to cut mine out. If all you could do is fold twice, all you're going to do is go back and fold another piece of paper to make sure that you cut out another set of small circles. So when you are done, ultimately we need six circles. So six small circles, two for the ears two, and two for the paws at the top and two for the paws at the bottom. So when you're done, you're going to have six circles. Now I'm going to have eight because I was able to fold so many times and that's okay. If I make a mistake, I can use them, but ultimately you need six and then grab your marker, crown, or pencil crown. Because I'm using a marker, I'm going to take a black piece of paper when I'm using that marker so that when I go to draw it doesn't go on my workspace so just be careful with that if you're using a marker so with my first two circles i'm going to draw three little curved lines right beside each other so a curved line is space a curved line is space and another tiny little curved line that's going to be for one of the paws then i'm going to do the exact same thing so a little curved line a little space a little curved line a little space so you've got your three curved lines then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those dots and just draw a big circle in the middle. This is going to be for the ear. So I'm just going to draw a big circle in the middle and I'm going to do that again for another one. So grab another one here and just another big circle in the middle. And I just want to make sure it's the same size as the first one that I did. Okay, now we're going to grab another circle. For this, here I'm going to grab two. For this one, I'm going to draw five tiny little dots around the edge here, nice and close together. So one, two, three, four, five little dots, and then a large dot in the middle. So you can see the five little dots are kind of just at the top and the large dot is in the middle. I'm gonna do that again. You can see I have some extra circles in case I make mistakes. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a circle in 
the middle. Just trying to make it look like the first one that I did. Okay, now that large circle that we cut out for our head, I am going to use that. You could use googly eyes for this if you happen to have any, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to draw some little circles for my eyes. I think I'll do a, like, a little upside down triangle for my nose. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of come down and loop to one side, come down and loop to the other, like a little curve, put three little dots, one, two, three, like in a little triangle. Now I'm going to move that to the side with all the other circles I have, and I'm going to grab my little blue piece of paper. This is where we're going to draw our little fish. So you can draw whatever size fish that you like in whatever shape. I find if you need to draw a fish and you're not sure how, if you just kind of put like a little circle or oval at the front of the fish and a triangle at the back of the fish, that's probably the easiest way. And then you can cut your fish out. But please draw a fish in whatever shape and size you would like. Just want to make sure that you are happy with it. You want to make sure it's big enough so that the little polar bear can hold it, but not too big that it is bigger than your polar bear. Unless, I guess, your polar bear wants to catch a humongous fish. And if you want to do that, that is awesome too. <laughs> you be creative. So I have my tiny little fish that's all ready to go. And now we're ready for the assembling. So you're going to take your glue. You're going to first put glue on the circles that had the little black dots. And I'm going to put those behind the head of my polar bear. So I just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of one of those and I slip it in behind. So there's the ears. Now you can see that the head is all ready to go. Then I'm going to take that cylinder that we created earlier and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it and glue it right on the front of my polar bear. So there we go. He's on and ready to go. Now for the fish. Now I know that seems a little bit crazy to put him on, but I put the fish on right in the middle so that I can put the paws going over top. I found this was the easiest way. So I put the fish kind of right where I want to put his paws. And then I take those paws and I fold. So you can see the member of the paws with the little strips. I fold them, put a little bit of glue on the part that doesn't have the three little lines. And then I just put it right beside the fish. And see, can you push it down and it looks like he's holding on to the fish. Do that with the other side. So you fold it in half, you put a little bit of glue on the part that doesn't have the little marks on it, and then you put it on the other side of that fish. So it looks like your polar bear is actually holding that fish. Oh, that one just needs to be moved over. You want to match them up. And then for your bottom little paws here, you're just going to put them near the bottom. Slip one on the one side. I'm going to take the other one and slip it on the other side. And ta-da! It is as simple as that. He stands up as well. So cute. Thanks for joining me to make this easy and quick polar bear craft. Remember, be creative and have fun.